Today's to the point topic, we want to talk about a line selected in Lightburn, which is over in the node editor. And if you hover over, it'll pop up the options sometime. Uh, in the bottom, you have a line selected. So I'm sure there's a lot of uses for this, uh, but one for sure. If in the past, and you've probably seen me do it in some of my videos, if I needed to ensure something was on a 45 degree angle, I would just draw a line. Let's draw one. Like that. And then I would uh, line up my object on it and then include it into my project wherever it was needed. But with a line selected, you don't have to do that. So let's get a square just hold the shift key and draw out a perfect square let me move this up so I make sure everyone can see it so to turn this into a 45 uh, in the past I would just play around with it and try to get it where I needed and sometimes I get it right and sometimes not so that's off a little bit to make sure, because there's projects you'll do that will require absolute precision or they won't come out right. So to do that, you can select your object, right click, convert to path, and then go over to the node editor and select. Let me scroll in a little bit. Remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel or you can push down and move the entire canvas around. So to make sure that's exactly on a 45, hover on the side that you're concerned with the angle being on and push the letter A. And you can see it move. And then once you click selected, you can just grab it, push your Alt key and snap it wherever you need it. Uh, so you won't have to draw those lines anymore if you use a line selected. Now it works the same way. Let's, uh, let's draw some more lines. Let's draw one here. And another one here. Click the selector tool. And let's get us another box. And the same is true for uh, vertical and horizontal. Control D, let's get us another one. If you're close, but not exact, a line selected will move your object to the nearest uh, horizontal, vertical, or 45 degree angle. So let's right click, convert to path, go to node editor, down here on the bottom is the, the side we're concerned with. Hover over with the mouse and click A. And then again, you can grab the edge, hold Alt, maybe. Sometimes I talk faster than I do. And then you put it wherever you need it. Uh, so there's... A lot of things you could use this for. I haven't figured out what they all are. I'm sure uh, we all will as we learn more. And the smart folks at Lightburn certainly know why they've done it. But I'm sure it's because of uh, precision uh, projects that you may be working on. So we're going to convert that one to path. We're going to click the node editor. Hover over this angle. And push A. So, um, y'all, uh, y'all play around with this. And if anybody already knows other things that you can do with it, uh, by all means, mention it in the comments because it'll help me, uh, to learn more and it'll help any of the viewers that come across it. So I would appreciate it. Well, for now, uh, that's what I know about, uh, the line selected. And if I learn something else or find something really cool I can do with it, I will let you know. And with that, 
Uh, that wraps up today's To The Point Topic.